I find it odd that I'm still going over Red Dead Redemption 2 points of interest and things like that this far down the line, but the game is just that detailed. I won't milk that statement just to make the video longer, let's get into today's topic. Because in this video we are actually going to be taking a look at the defaced grave which you can find in the Grizzlies West. We're also going to be taking a look at the clues to figure out what kind of story is behind this defaced grave and hopefully we'll get a good understanding of what's going on here. So like I said, you're going to want to head to the northern shore of Barrow Lagoon which is up in the West Grizzlies in the mountains. The opposite shore meets the road that heads up to Coulter. So this body of water shouldn't be too hard to find. When you arrive, perhaps the first thing you'll notice is that this body of water is frozen. That might seem insignificant, but believe me, it does bear relevance later on, so bear with me. There's also a house sitting out here, but more on that after we've checked out the defaced grave itself. So right beside this house, you can find a dug up grave with a defaced headstone. Now the corpse in the casket is actually missing her leg. And though the original writing on this headstone is quite hard to make out, the graffiti on top isn't. It reads, no ice in hell. So who dug this grave up and why did they deface the headstone? What was this about? Now, inspecting the site doesn't yield any insights from John Marston or Arthur Morgan, but instead just a simple drawing of the site. But it does seem as if why this grave was defaced might be something that we'll never get to the bottom of. But what's the story behind the corpse here? Well, remember this hut that's literally right next to this site? Why don't we go ahead and investigate that? So inside you will find a desk on which there is a pair of ice skates and a torn newspaper article. So why don't we go ahead and read this? Well we got a year, 1874, and it reads Dreadful Incident. Talented ice skater's career cut short in terrible accident. Which lines up with the corpse outside who's missing a leg and looks like he's been dead for quite a while. It also makes sense of the graffitied words on his headstone, no ice in hell. But again, there's nothing in this little cabin that suggests why somebody would deface this man's grave. But considering there's a newspaper article about him losing his leg, it's entirely possible that he was a very popular figure, and thus the curse of being popular is there are going to be people who dislike you no matter what. This could be an example of one of those people going to the extreme. I hope nobody does this to my grave when I die. Actually, you know what, I'm not sure if I'd find that funny or not, so yeah, why not? Another thing that came to my mind is the fact that this guy lost his leg, he lost his career, it is entirely possible that he took his own life. And though it's not necessarily a sin to commit suicide in Christianity, it's not exactly viewed favourably, so that could explain it. And some would argue that it is a sin, and uh, hence the no ice in hell thing, because if you sin, you go to hell. It's just a theory, probably nothing. But anyways, that's just what a brief googling session told me, so don't take my word on any of that stuff. But it seems as if a solid reason as to why this grave was defaced is something we will not get, as there's no direct evidence to suggest why somebody would want to deface this grave. Though it does say on his gravestone that he was a war veteran, and that he was supposedly seen as a hero to all. Maybe he did something that somebody didn't like, and hence this happened. I'm sure we could go around in circles on this one for quite a while, but I don't feel like wasting your time, so I'm going to leave this with you guys. Why do you think this ice skater's grave was defaced? But anyways, that concludes today's video, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, and I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.